I had to get on camera for this. And usually I'm behind the camera with yeah, my guy, sure. Dane Dunny, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank man, you. Man, man. So, so real quick, man. Just this timeline for you this year is insane. Newborn. Yep. You're you're starting off in the bullpen. Yep. All of a sudden you're starting, and then you're back in the bullpen. And then you know things happen where you're just back and forth. A lot of mental things that, that were going through your mind, but you stayed steady. You stayed the course, and now you're a champion. How is it to be a champion, man? Uh, dude, it's unbelievable. Uh, I'm still in shock. Um, still hasn't hit me yet. But, um, I mean, going into this year, it's just whatever way I can help the team in any in, in any way. If that's bullpen starting, whatever they needed. And uh, fortunately, I got some opportunities. Uh, fortunately, I got a pitch in the World Series. That was obviously a, a dream come true of mine. Uh, but, no, I mean, you talk about it, it's just – I'd say this is my very close second favorite year of my entire life. Um, number one is obviously getting married to my beautiful, wonderful wife. Um, but this is a very close second. I mean, having having my son, World Series champ, I mean, it's doesn't get much better than that. I got to ask you, man, so Sporzy, that final strike, it seemed like it was like a pause, right? I don't know, maybe it was a TV or just like it was a slight pause, but just when it happened, man, do you, did you black out? Was it a moment that you didn't realize? Like, uh, how was that moment for you, that exact call? Uh, I mean, I was praying in the bullpen, to be honest. Uh, he, we got two strikes. Everyone was getting a little antsy down there. We all lined up kind of by the gate. Uh, from there, yeah, I kind of blacked out. Uh, I think that was probably the fastest 60 time I've ever had in my life. Um, I mean, you got that call, and we bolted out of there. I think I might have been the first one into that pile. I was probably I was sprinting as fast as I could um I'm gonna get a footage of that oh yeah I mean I was I mean I went as quick as I could to celebrate with the team and then from there it's just it's all blacked out from there so now the parade is here man I know you pulled up to the stadium and you probably like wait a minute so, all these fans how is that for yeah, you so I got here at nine I got here earlier than everyone had it was already packed I mean traffic was brutal um but no, I'm excited to see what it is because some of these guys got here later, and it's uh, I mean, it's definitely like it. You could see like, I mean, I, I got here at nine before everyone got out here, and it was still packed then. I can only imagine what it looks like now. I heard there's roughly going to be about like 800,000 people. That's what I heard. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 I love, I love it. Last question, man. So, you know, historic season for this team and franchise, and um, I just want you to talk about Bruce Bochy and what he's meant to you. Um, you know, you were a guy, like I said, that had been through some injuries. I remember you telling me, like, this is the first time that you felt relatively good body-wise and just oh, yeah. different things. Just talk about being able to have Bruce Bochy in your ear, believing in you. Yeah. Because, you know, there, there were people that did doubt, you know, is Dane Dunning this guy? Is he going to be this guy? And you are that guy yeah, and more now. It. So can you talk about that, how Bochy believed in you? Oh, definitely. Um, well, that starts off with my brother. So my brother uh, played for Bochy in 13 and 14 with the Giants. And um, my brother was able to tell me, just how great of a manager he was, how he runs things, things like that. And then as spring training came along, I got to witness that firsthand. Um, but yeah, no, you talked about just people didn't believe it on me. I, uh, this spring training, I mean, I, it was one of the most humbling spring trainings that I had coming off, you know, a 90 something loss season. Um, I didn't have a great year. Obviously I had hip surgery. I played on a torn hip all year. Um, I got really motivated. I actually, it was the first time I've ever done this. So this this season, I deleted all social media, um, which I got it back now. But my wife ran it. But I actually took screenshots of kind of a lot of people uh, just kind of doubting me and stuff like that. And I used that as motivation for this year. I mean, I still have all the pictures saved on my phone, and uh, and now we're, I'm happy to say that we brought the first one to, to Texas. And uh, but no, I mean, I I kind of just. Took a step back last year when I, you know, had the surgery, figured out what I could be better on, and then I tried to eliminate all the outside noise. I love it. Well, Dane, congratulations. Go enjoy this time. I know you got the newborn out there excited as well yeah. with your wife and everything, and hopefully I'll see you on some Call of Duty pretty soon. Oh, for sure. You know, some zombies together. Yeah, oh, for sure. Appreciate you, man. Hey, right. thank you. Congratulations, brother. Thank, thank you. you.